Hey guys, it's me, Zach, from Pro Play Games, and I'm back here with another video for you, and I wanted to go over a deck that I played at the London International Championships. So, I decided to play Golisopod at the event, and it actually ended up winning the event through Tord's deck. He played it very differently with Zorak GX and uh, Puzzle of Time, but my deck was more of a traditional deck at the time, and my goal going to the tournament was to get knockouts with uh, Golisopod's first impression. So I actually ended up playing three copies of this card. Um, Golispod's very strong because it has uh, First Impression, Armor Press, Crossing Cut GX, so a diverse range of attacks that can all do uh, different things. So heal, or you could swing and then hit hide to the bench. You can use Armor Press, you could reduce some damage, and First Impression is really like a quick attack. So it's just a bulky uh, stage one Pokemon, lots of HP, really strong. So I wanted to make ways to do uh, first impression and crossing cut, get some magic knockouts on the presumed metagame, which included a lot of Gardevoir and other things like that. So in any uh, Glissopod deck, we want to play four Wimpods. Um, well, in most Glissopod decks, we want to play four Wimpods. It can change up, but in a heart, in a deck that focuses on Glissopod, we want to play four. Um, we play this one because Wimpod allows you to get the free retreat on the first turn. So it's pretty strong. Beyond that, you're not going to be using Wimpod too much. Um, so with Gardevoir being good, I played it a 1-1 line of Gumshoes GX. So Gumshoes GX is really good for looking at your opponent's hand with its Search the Premises ability. So whenever you're in doubt, you just know. Also, you can also use its Gumshoe Chance GX. Yeah, Gumshoe Chance GX attack um, to get a big knockout on a Pokemon that has a lot of energy. So this is really meant for attacking uh, Volcanion EX and uh, Gardevoir GX. Played a 1-1 line of Octillery. Um, it's a little bit stronger than Zorak GX in some cases, especially against Buzzwool. They don't need, uh, they need a strong energy to use a uh, Jet Punch against you. So Abyssal Hand's really meant for drawing. Three Tapu Lele GX. Really wanted this deck to be consistent, so I went with three of them. Um, beyond that, you can use some Energy Drive in some cases, but uh, not all the time. Oranguru, it's uh, good for drawing cards late game, so I went for... Uh, 1-1 one, one Octillery, 1 Oranguru, instead of doing a 2-2 two, two Octillery, or just 1 Oranguru. Um, Instruct is really strong late game when your opponent plays N, and Psychic can be good against random Pokemon like Alola Ninetales or uh, Hoopa from Shining Legends. Latios is one of the new additions I brought to the deck. Um, it's a uh, breakthrough attack can do 30 and 30. So getting to those numbers where you can make some situations where you could do some knockouts with first impression against Tapu Lele, do it a couple of times and it works great against uh, Gardevoir GX. Tapu Coco is fairly standard in most Glissopod decks due to its free retreat. Um, it's also, its flying flip is good for spreading some damage around. So going into the trainer section, I opted to go with the standard uh, four Sycamores and uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Pro Play Games for hooking me up with these uh, Professor Sycamores. I really like this art. I'm super particular against the about the art in my deck. And uh, yeah, the guys at Pro Play Games, they had a bunch of these in stock. Uh, I'm sponsored by them. Obviously, that's why I'm making this video. But uh, check, the, check out their site to get some cards. It's uh, They're really great. Um, so the Sycamore is really meant for drawing cards, getting back into the video. Um, and for Guzma, we want to use first impression, get past that drawback of uh, making it being on the bench to the active position, and we could drag up whoever we want. We also have uh, 4N, so the N is really good for getting out of uh, situations where you don't want to discard cards with Sycamore, or if you want to just uh, draw some cards early game or throughout the game. Acerola is really similar to, uh, uh, sorry, it's really similar to Guzma in this deck. So you could switch Pokemon out. Um, this is really bringing it back. So you could send up a Tapu Koko and then use First Impression again. So it's really good. And it's good for healing and staying in the game. Uh, Professor Kukui, another new addition to the deck. You can do an additional 20. So this helps really with the First Impression damage. So First Impression doing 120. Then with the Latios hitting for 30, that's 150. This does 170. So it can knock out most basic EXGX Pokemon. Single Bridget is fa was fairly common before Europe. Um, just searching out your basic Pokemon, so like uh, Wimpods, uh, Remoraid, things like that. Um, another really, really common uh, addition to the deck is uh, four Ultra Balls. Just want to search out our Pokemon. 
and I included four choice bands. I want to do a lot of damage. Choice band allows me to get there, and it can turn uh, turn some numbers into 170 to 200, and then hitting with another breakthrough on Latios can hit for 230. Floatstones, we don't want our first impression uh, Golisopod GX to stay up active, or our Octillery, or our Oranguru. I'm sure you get the point by now. You just want to get it out of the active position. Um, field blowers, <clears throat> we want to take away um, Garbotoxin's ability when it has a tool attached. And sometimes we're going to face first opposing things like a choice ban, so it might save us from a knockout. And Rescue Stretcher allows us to get back a really important Pokemon, or if we want to get back a few important Pokemon, we can shuffle three back into our deck. So getting into the energies, I played seven grass. So pretty standard count. I want to make sure that we can use first impression throughout the game, all of the other attacks in the deck, and then four double colorless energies. So we want to make sure that we have those to use uh, breakthrough, flying flip, energy drive, crossing cut. You get the point, basically almost any attack in the deck. So sorry about getting this video up a, li a little bit late. I filmed earlier and then there were some issues with the original video, but I'm filming this for my new iPhone X, so it should be in 4K for you guys. Um, really appreciate uh, the opportunity to be playing on pro play games and providing this content to all of you. So reach out, comment below, and uh, if you have any questions, follow me on Twitter at ZLassage underscore Pokemon. So, and I'll answer a few more questions on there as well. So really appreciate it. Thanks guys, bye. So this is my uh, deck on PTCGO just so you can see how the list looks in full. Thanks.